Fair kicks off tomorrow in Broward County, and just a short time ago, school board members wrapped up a meeting discussing plans for school safety. In fact, officials from the city of Fort Lauderdale say they've received a call today requesting help meeting the state requirement of having armed guards in every school. CBS 4's Aralia Ortega is live at school board headquarters in Fort Lauderdale with more. Aralia. Rick and Rudabay, late today, the city of Fort Lauderdale announced that they are going to provide 13 police officers to county schools to meet a state mandate to have an armed officer at each school. Broward County School Board members just uh, met. They, ha they held a public meeting and a closed door meeting where they discussed school security. Back in June, the Broward School Board hired a company called Safe Havens to review all safety and security at schools in the district. Today, the board heard the first assessment from the group. The report says that the district has done a lot of good security work over the years and has a strong buy-in from its employees. The report is preliminary, but at this point, the group is not recommending metal detectors, but is recommending a lot of other things like smart cameras, better communication equipment, and a new chief security officer position. I'm not against metal detection. If we're going to fund it right, if people understand that they will be waiting, it's not going to be quick. If they understand that it takes x-ray screening of pocketbooks and book bags. Communication about highlighting communication systems, access control, behavioral systems, and making sure that we have the human structure to implement those. With, uh, there, as you've seen, some things we didn't, like the, the way it was moving forward, the metal detection, we'll tell you what those things are. But there have been a lot, a number of logical things that were already in the process, in our opinion. And the school district says they have not made a decision on whether to go ahead with the metal detector pilot program. Again, this is just the first step in this assessment. By the end of October, Safe Havens is expected to take a look at how each school should operate, and then public hearings will be held. And back out here live again, a closed door meeting just got done here at the Broward School Board. We are expected to uh, speak with a school board member to get some answers as to the shortage of the officers uh, as per the school, the state mandate each school has has to have an armed officer on campus. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Aurelia Ortega, CBS 4 News at 7.